All right, hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com. And in this video, I wanna have a discussion about health insurance. Oh yeah, the complicated nightmare for us cancer survivors and patients. The health insurance side of things is so incredibly complicated and it hasn't gotten any easier over the past, now let's say, eight to 12 years, and especially in our current political cycle, it has only gotten even more confusing. That's why it is incredibly important to ask yourself if you have read your current health insurance policy. I ended up going through a pretty interesting bit. Um, I had good insurance through all my treatment, and it still cost me a lot of money out of pocket. I ended up I, I was with um, this Cross and Shield that were blue company that was that was actually pretty good through all of my treatment and all of my cancer experience, and it was I was fortunate that I had some decent insurance because they did have a good cancer policy along with it. Now, with that said, it became a little bit harder because as my treatments were wrapping up and as I was becoming less reliant on the chemotherapy and the treatments and that I was in remission, my insurance company started really jacking up my rates. And it got to a point to where it was more than a second mortgage on a house. And I had to make some choices. Um, I was fortunate that the stem cell plants, uh, stem cell transplant that I went through qualified me for Medicare. And I have Medicare I have so much Medicare literature, it's not even right. But, you know, I learned through this whole experience that it is so important to really be up to date with your knowledge of the things that you're involved with. And health insurance is a big one. The cancer part of the policies that go into your health insurance plan, you, you need to read them. I actually encourage everyone, not even just cancer patients and survivors, I encourage everyone to read their insurance policy because it'll help give you the information you need in order to fight for the treatments and the diagnostic, especially the diagnostic treatments that you are going through or that you might need to go through if you're diagnosed with cancer or if you are a cancer patient that you need to have done in order for certain staging situations to happen to figure out what might be the next step. When you are dealing with scans that cost an excess of $10,000 a pop, like PET scans do, insurance companies will do everything in their power to not pay those. You know, over the course of your treatment and through your diagnostic side of things, you might go through six, seven, eight different PET scans. There's $80,000 in insurance money that needs to get paid out. So, of course, insurance companies don't want to do that because they are a business and they are in business to make money. So the less amount of money that they have to pay out, the better for them. I don't agree with it because these are diagnostic things that you need to have in order to be diagnosed. And you need to know... What, and that's one of the biggest and mostly the main reason, and not, not even just for the scans, but just for the overall understanding of what it is that's in your insurance policy. That is the biggest reason why I encourage you to read what is what the entire thing. I've read this book. I read this book every single year when it comes out. Now, I'm not on Medicare anymore, but I still read this just because I need to know what what might pop up from things that happened in the past that could affect me in the future. And that's just from an insurance standpoint. I'm fortunate that I am on my wife's insurance through her work, and we have a very good insurance policy. I took that, and I read the entire thing. It actually came as a massive PDF file, uh, and I was able to read the whole thing on my computer took me about a week, but I still got through it and I still read the whole thing. So at least I have an understanding of what I know we are paying for and how that coverage is supposed to happen. The biggest reason why I wanted to really talk about this is I don't think people spend enough time reading the documents that they get, whether it's, you know, your health insurance or car insurance, you know, everyone seems to read, or at least maybe I'm just the only one, all the documents for when you are going in to buy a house. I have bought and sold a couple properties, but I've read every single one because I want to know what every 
every single thing that I'm putting my name on is. Maybe that's just a, a little bit of a hypochondriac in me. I don't know. But nonetheless, you need to really pay attention to this. This is such a such an important thing because sometimes you might be signing something that you may not be aware of and if you end up doing that then you are still held liable for whatever that might be. And you know, I wouldn't put put it past insurance companies to try to do some weird tricky shit. So keep that in mind also. But yeah, so just take some time. It's it's really important. I think it's really important for you guys to understand that it's just you have to read. You have to read and you have to inform yourself, especially as a patient going through this because the more that you know, the better off that you're going to be, I think. Besides if you're if you're going through cancer, if you're going through treatment, more more likely than not you're going to have some free time and you can use this free time as a way to inform yourself about insurance documents and stuff that you are part of. There are certain parts within your plan that let you know if they cover certain aspects of your treatment, like PET scans. CT scans are a lot cheaper. They are they are good for measuring the progress of your cancer, but a PET scan is such a better way to show exactly where it's at. A lot of times, a CT scan, you'll if if you are pretty advanced in stage with lymphoma specifically, you might have you know dozens of uh, lymph nodes in your body throughout your entire everywhere that are affected. And a CT a full body CT scan will show a lot of it, but it it's easier to to miss, you know. And a PET scan with how it works and and how it does its thing, you're able to see exactly what's going on, and it's so much easier to help stage. Which is strange because you would think that as time being kind of of the essence, you'd want to go with something that's going to kind of give you that answer and give you the the results that you need immediately. And you, you know, logically thinking you would want, you think the insurance company would want to try to get through this as fast as possible and move on and, and be done with it. But they have chosen the harder way. They want to do everything they can to not pay any of the tests, do anything that you are part of when it comes to cancer pretty sad really because I have I have a lot of opinions about the insurance companies and how just shysty they are about what it is that they do do it please please read about your insurance policy if you don't have a copy of it ask for it go you know call up your uh, your insurance company and or the your insurance provider and ask them to get you a a new updated version of your insurance policy whether or not you get a handbook you know like this one from medicare it's a handbook um, about the whole thing it'll give you an uh, it'll it just helps give you a whole understanding to it get the handbook get your policy in particular and then you can kind of go into the next bit of the fight being that much more knowledgeable and that much more armed ready to to kind of battle with the insurance company in case you have issues so Yeah, uh, if you have any questions, hit me in the comment section below. Um, Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. uh, Hit subscribe if you like what you're hearing. And I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate you so much. I appreciate the time and energy that you you put into watching the videos I'm making. And I just want to say thank you again, and I will see you on the next video.